I won't do anything if I don't risk being embarrassed. Like now, I want to fight this young motherfucker. Me and Mike Tyson fighting. The vision I had, it's within me to be a fighter, to be a disruptor. Mike is the greatest heavyweight of all time, in my opinion. But it's my time. Hard work defines me. I look at myself as a liberator. I created guys like Jake Paul. Be in good shape because your health depends on it. We're going to war and he's getting knocked out. I'm getting to show the world who I am. Is Jake Paul legit? And shut everyone the fuck up. Mike, I love you, but I'm gonna take your throne, brother. <laughs> he's a manufactured killer. I'm a natural born killer. IBF, uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer, uh, Jim Gray. Get the official decision now as Jake Paul gets his eighth professional win. Okay, I'll come in the room yeah, after. Just right here. Yeah. <laughs> just grab the gloves. Just fucking hit him. Breathe and relax. You're fucking doing great. You're just back. Huh? You gotta keep your hands up though, baby. You need to fucking give me a minute. I'll leave right here. Last minute. Welcome back to Quick Rundowns. You won't believe what just went down at the At T Arena in Arlington, Texas. Buckle up because the highly anticipated showdown between YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul and the legendary Mike Tyson was nothing short of an absolute roller coaster. Seriously, if you missed it, what were you even doing? First off, let's talk about the atmosphere. Fans were buzzing like bees at a honey convention, and who could blame them? The anticipation was through the roof. This was not just another influencer boxing match. Nope. This was the self-proclaimed problem child taking on one of the most feared boxers in history. The hype was real, folks. As Jake Paul strutted into the ring, you could almost hear the crowd thinking, is this guy really about to fight Iron Mike? Jake walked in with the swagger of a man who just got a brand deal, clearly ready to take on the world. On the other side, there was Mike Tyson, the living legend, calm and composed. I mean, who needs to hype things up when your mere presence sends chills down the spine of the bravest souls? Round one kicked off, and surprise, surprise. Jake Paul didn't come in swinging wildly like a kid in a candy store. Instead, he had a game plan. He stuck to his jab, moved well, and get this actually showed some confidence. It was like watching a puppy who just learned how to bark without tripping over its own paws. Tyson, of course, was doing his classic thing, stalking his prey like a lion sizing up its dinner. He wasn't rushing in, oh no, he knew Jake's best chance was to land something big early. Tyson's head movement was on point, ducking under Jake's jabs and inching closer. But here's the kicker Jake surprised everyone with his defense. He wasn't just flailing, he was actually moving out of range and staying smart. Who knew? Maybe he wasn't just a TikTok star after all. Fast forward to round two, and things started heating up. Jake was still trying to keep Tyson at bay but the legend wasn't having it. Tyson turned up the pressure, throwing those classic body shots that are more brutal than a breakup text. You could practically feel the punches through the screen. Jake took some heavy shots to the ribs, and you could see the look on his face like, uh, yeah, this isn't fun anymore. But credit where it's due, Jake didn't panic. He kept his cool, moved laterally, and managed to land a few solid counter shots when Tyson got a little too eager. The crowd was buzzing, could Jake actually hang with Mike Tyson? You could cut the tension with a knife. Then came round three, where Jake Paul showed he wasn't just there to collect a paycheck. Early in the round, he landed a clean right hand that momentarily stopped Tyson in his tracks. The crowd gasped. For a split second, you could feel everyone's jaw drop. Did Jake just rock Mike Tyson? Holy moly. But let's be real, when Tyson gets hit, he just gets angrier. He smiled, nodded, and came back with a vengeance. He started cornering Jake and unleashing combinations like a kid on a sugar high. But Jake surprisingly held his own. He was rolling with the punches and even managed to slip some of Tyson's more dangerous shots. You could almost hear the boxing analysts scribbling notes. Is Jake Paul actually good? Now, round four is where everything changed. Jake started cautiously like a cat on a hot tin roof trying to avoid a firefight with the legend. But Tyson wasn't letting up. He cut off the ring like a pro, cornering Jake and unloading those vicious hooks to the body and head. You could practically hear the clock ticking down for Jake. And then it happened. Tyson slipped one of Jake's jabs, stepped in with a brutal right hook, and boom. It connected clean on Jake's jaw. The arena went silent for a moment. Did that really just happen? Jake's legs wobbled like a newborn deer, and before he could recover, Tyson followed up with a brutal left uppercut. Lights out. The ref didn't even bother with a count, it was over. Jake collapsed to the canvas, and it was one of those knockouts you just can't look away from. 
Tyson proved that even in his 50s, he still got the power that makes legends. The fight ended in a brutal KO and social media erupted. Let's talk about the aftermath. Jake might have gotten knocked out, but the internet exploded with reactions. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, it was a battlefield. Fans were in disbelief posting memes, hot takes, and reactions like they were auditioning for a stand-up comedy special. One fan tweeted, Mike just sent Jake Paul back to YouTube where he belongs. Iron Mike for life, you just know that tweet went viral in seconds. People couldn't believe what they witnessed. Thousands of retweets, likes, and comments flooded in. Jayco was trending worldwide for hours. And let's not forget the memes. People edited clips of Jake falling, complete with the classic wasted effect from GTA. TikTok was filled with hilarious POV videos, creators pretending to be Jake and doing exaggerated falls in slow mo. It was pure chaos. And honestly, you had to laugh. But it wasn't just fans who were weighing in. Celebrities jumped into the fray. LeBron James posted, I don't care how old he is, Tyson will forever be the baddest man on the planet UFC champ Israel Adesanya simply wrote, GOAT status, period. When you have legends like LeBron and Izzy showing love, you know it's a big deal. So what does all this mean? Mike Tyson just reminded the world that he's still a force to be reckoned with, even today. And while Jake Paul might not have had the outcome he wanted, he should- It'd be something they never experienced before, as far as pain's considered. You will not be the one feeling the pain. I don't think so either. Child's about to have a real big problem. I'm close to 60 years old and he thinks, um... You think it's sweet? Yeah. He's gonna get paid a lot of money as well. He's improved. I let him fight on my undercard. Since the first time he fought on my car, well, I started him off. You did more workouts than when I seen you than the whole time you fought Lennox Lewis. Am I right or wrong? Different era, brother. There's a whole new ball game. I'm proud of you, Mike. They don't want me to be the nice father man, the family man. They want to bring me back to debauchery and violence. Ah, these scar phone news. When I think I'm out, they bring me back in. You can't that no Three weeks, having a smoke, two and a half weeks, having a smoke, I have that sex for two and a half weeks. I've been doing the whole Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yo, listen, you hear that? Kid is in the jungle. 20 seconds. It's in the end. It's just like that. There's never been a night this big. I started Jake off. No one knew who the hell he was. I started him, and most likely looks like I'm gonna finish him. I like him, but in this particular fight, I have he has to go. Dunk. This is no ordinary fight. This is Jake El Gallo Paul. This may be it. Oh! Who's doing more than me? I don't look at myself as a middle-aged man. I feel really good. When you're in, when you're in the top, top physical and uh, spiritual shape, you hear and notice everything. Highest form of relaxation. Hey, listen, nobody's a perfect expert with two people in the ring. Anything that happen, destiny's involved. Jake is done. He's not afraid of work. He would get up and run by himself, do his own thing. He's a workaholic. He's a very unique individual. You never know the real Mike Tyson. I don't care who you are. Yeah, so far. Exactly. Okay, you're gonna beat this kid, Jake Paul? Very badly. I don't look at this like it's gonna be easy fight. This guy is gonna be prepared. I'm not, I'm, but I'm prepared for it. I'm training extremely hard, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, if he can do that, if he can actually do that for eight rounds or 10 rounds, however yeah. long this fight is. Well, that's the, gonna be the key, isn't Yeah. It? Can he do that? I don't know if he can do that. I mean, he had to pull out of the first fight because he had, a, he had an ulcer. Right. So it's, you know. Well, I like him, but in this particular fight, I have he has to go. I started Jake Paul off. Um, on my fight with Roy Jones, I allowed him to fight on the card, and I decided I started them, and I'm, and I'm going to finish him. It's coming. It's not how old you are, it's how old you feel. I don't feel what the word old, I don't feel that. No. Well, you're smart going into the new wave. No, it's always the old wave. It's always this. Yeah. I could do all this stuff and not have this and this. Yeah, that's what you need. What do you think about Tyson fighting Jake Paul? I love that. Mike Tyson, and uh, I I'm, I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at, at our age. Um, but he's a grown man, obviously, and, you know, I talked to his wife a couple days ago. 
and he's taking this serious and he's training for it and you know so he makes lots of money outside of the ring I, I just I think that he ends up getting these offers that he can't refuse we'll see how it plays out the will will determine the skill the story of success is be around successful people I don't believe that Jake is done well, he's punches and bunches. He throws missiles, not just one bomb, freaking one after the other. Cuss would say uh, he moved his head so great, uh, the guy couldn't hit him with a machine gun. What can you lose? What can you win from a loser? Huh? You can learn how not to lose. Huh? You can learn how not to lose. <laughs> so, let's see what this press conference delivers. We know the fight is a joke. Well, I commend Tyson, because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live. When this fight happens, Tyson will be 58. I think this is so, this impressed the shit out of me. Nothing impresses me. You know, I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't lie. And I'm happy that I was able to the ring with um, so many legendary fighters. I'm worried about him. <laughs> On no, <laughs> under any circumstances, a almost 60 year old man shouldn't be fighting a 27 year old guy yeah. under any circumstances, even yeah. if it's Mike Tyson. So, do I think Tyson can land Tyson. a shot? Yeah. Everybody in the room and the other room wants to see Jake Paul get knocked out. My Shit. biggest problem with the Jake Paul thing is, and how this plays out, is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has, who is his age, Tommy, and who is his size, he lost. Yeah. I don't look at myself as a middle-aged man. I feel really good. And when you're in, when you're in the top, top physical and uh, spiritual shape, you hear and notice everything. Highest form of relaxation. Hey, listen, nobody's a perfect expert with two people in the ring. Anything that happened, destiny's involved. But you'd fight Tyson Fury. Yeah, I'll fight a lion if the price is right. <laughs> How about me and Mike? Who else can do it but me? Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Do you think he's ever stood across from a man with the sort of intentions you can have inside a ring? You know, to become a great fighter, you had to, to, be, to become great, you had to fight great, great fighters, you had to fight good fighters. So, um, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it, if it wasn't for the certain guys that paved the, paved the way for me today. Oh, it's culture. Right, right, right. And know why you like incredible. it? incredible. Because the coolest, the toughest guys have them. You have to believe this, bro. You have to know this one thing I'm gonna tell you, and this is spiritual, right? You see all your fights and stuff? All your, all your knockouts are spectacular. You know what that means? All this good stuff happening to you, you know what that means? That your favorite is by God. 58 year old men are 58 year old men no matter what they look like. Right. And Jake Paul is a 28 year old athlete in the prime of his life. I'm, I'm beautiful and I'm I've been training for a while, like two weeks, three weeks. I'm just, I was just asking when you get into camp. I'm okay to fight. But, but when you get into camp? like when I'm, in, I'm in camp right now. Very good, thank you. I'm in camp right now. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well, he's punches and bunches. He throws missiles, not just one bomb, freaking one after the other. Cuss would say uh, he moved his head so great, uh, the guy couldn't hit him with a machine gun. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Now, I tell people, Today is a gift. listen to me, you can have kids. They can love you, but they can fuck up. But if they respect you, they don't fuck up. Respect is everything. Nobody can get close to me. I'm the best fighter in the world. This is the fight the world's been waiting for. Okay, you're gonna beat this kid, Jake Paul? Very badly. I don't look at this like it's gonna be easy fight. This guy's gonna be prepared. I'm not, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I'm training extremely hard, yeah. I'm on my fight with Roy Jones. I allowed him to fight on the card, and I decided I started him, and I'm and I'm gonna finish him. Just you couldn't stop him. Oh. It's orgasmic sometimes. Mm. Yeah. You can hit hard like that, but I can hit way harder like that, fucking boom! 
Be in shape, be in good shape, because your health depends on it. I look at him as a killer. He is, Mike. That's, well, that's how I look at him. And he's getting, like, better and better. It's crazy. I know this. I know that's why I got to give him before he gets too good. As soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. Well, you'd fight Tyson Fury. Yeah, I'll fight a lion if the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about me and Mike? should be very scareful, yeah. That's only 10% how fighters train right there. That's, that's, it's nothing, right then it's nothing. That's how fighters warm up. And so he's gonna have to um, get very familiar with that kind of lifestyle of fighting. Just wanna see how far he, how much he wants and how far can he go, how far he wants to go before he says no. The difference between wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is knowing, wisdom is doing. Yeah. Something changed. We're like, man, I be watching him hit the bag now, and like, he's really a boxer. And yeah, this is what I learned through my 58 years of experience. Well, my experience is. Fist full of power. You're just a blogger. I'm the legend of the hour. You think you can break me? I'm Iron Mike. The ring is calling, and it's my fight. That anyone's capable of killing you. Anyone's capable of killing you. So you should be apprehensive for anyone. So I look at him at that, and I, I. So, they're never gonna go that f route again. I saw some guy the other day say, when are you gonna stop fighting gimmick fights? You gonna call Mike Tyson a gimmick? Well, yeah. If you got that people fight. that are fucking dumb enough to pay for that fucking <laughs> you know, well, it's, it's on Netflix, you don't even you. have to pay now. Huh? It's on Netflix, you don't even have to pay. And like, like, brilliant move too, because you don't have to go pay. Everybody has Netflix, Netflix so just yeah. turn it on. Netflix, ah, something I'll turn it on and see what happens. Because this guy's 27, he's in his prime. Yeah. As a human, yeah, and Explodes. and I love Mike, and nobody yeah. wants to see Mike get beat by this f***ing jerk off. You know what I mean? <laughs> love Mike Tyson. Yeah, Mike Tyson was one of the guys that I idolized growing up. You're gonna give us a, a round on this deal? Have you made that official prediction yet, or no? Yeah, I'm, I'm not no round guy, but I'm just um, I'm going in there with bad intentions. My my intention is to hurt this young man because I can, and I'm going to be successful doing it, and it's easy. Training's hell, but the fights are always easier than training. Child's about to have a real big problem. I'm close to 60 years old and he thinks, um... He think it's sweet? Yeah. He's gonna get paid a lot of money as well. He's improved. I let him fight on my undercard. Since the first time he fought on my... But when I started him off, I started Jake off. No one knew who the hell he was. I started him, and most likely looks like I'm gonna finish him. more like workouts than what I've seen you, than the whole time you fought Lennox Lewis. I slap hook! What's good for today? Yeah. I should yeah. be late. You sure? Yeah. Yes. You sure? Yeah. Yes. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yes. Let's do this. You did great. We're done. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Chris. I got a lot in me. Well, I commend Tyson because he he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off over there, he's fat. And I'm gonna show Mike who has the more power because he's underestimating me. I think everyone else is underestimating me and I believe that I hit harder. Showed grit, heart, and maybe even a touch of humility. If you think Tyson's age will slow him down or that Jake Paul is walking into an easy fight, you better think again. This isn't just about, it's a wake up call. So what are your thoughts on Mike Tyson's new training footage? Are you team Tyson or team Paul? Drop your comments below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more boxing news and updates. See you in the next video.